A new bridge into a hill country town is getting folks excited about how it will change their city and benefit the entire region. KXAN's Hill Country reporter Ignacio Garcia has the story from Marble Falls. Leslie, I've been up and down this stretch of Highway 281 for many years in the time that I've lived here in the hill country. And one thing I have noticed for sure is a steady growth in the city of Marble Falls. Crews have been working steady since 2010 when building the busy Highway 281 bridge in Marble Falls began. The $30 million project to be divided into two bridges, a northbound and a southbound connection. It's a project that brought on renewed interest for small business owners looking to grow with the area. Going to make it uh, easier for folks to, to come through Marble Falls. We're building a new visitor center that certainly will be eye-catching. And uh, more and more people, I think, will have a reason to say, hey, let me stop here and look around. Reeves said the wider bridge will also serve as a double duty, enable heavy military vehicles and equipment passing through between bases. I believe also a real in, uh, impetus was to make sure that uh, any military that need to go from Fort Hood to the bases in San Antonio would have an alternative uh, route. New businesses and commercial strip shops have started building around the edges of the bridge. The River City Grill has been a well-known landmark in the city's downtown area overlooking the lake. The owner says having a new bridge will help bring more tourist dollars and add to the overall charm of the city. We're all very excited about what it's going to bring to the city. And not only obviously a traffic, moving traffic back and forth, but aesthetically I think it's very important for the city. That's um, kind of the gateway to Marble Falls. What you see behind me here is the first of two bridges which will be completed in a few months. The second bridge to finish the project will be finished in 2014. Reporting from Marble Falls, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News.